Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to another Wolf Boy video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so let's get right on to it. Um, now, the downside to this is, um, I've kind of not been in the loop a lot, so, uh, I have the chance to get a full lifetime XSplit license completely free through my, uh, MCN, which is a multi-channel network, which, as you know, if you've seen my last, uh, vlog, I went over and said that it, uh, my new MCN is Freedom. Well, I'm now part of the group called Gamers, so I figured this would kind of be up in my alley. So, let's go ahead and we will get started. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, so let's go ahead and explore the Gamecaster startup. Now, this of course is my account. I've used it for a little bit. I didn't sign out and restart just so that I could show you guys. I didn't figure that would be very productive. I want to get to the review and uh, get right to it. Now, as you can see, Gamecaster is very, very basic. <laughs> I don't think that this could get any more basic if your life depended on it. It's all basically in-game is where your game casting will happen. Uh, you can't control anything outside of game. Um, Sorry, you can't control anything inside of game. You can control, like, your stream name and everything like that. But you have to actually end the stream and go to this Gamecaster start screen in the settings to actually change anything as far as all of the settings as far as your display settings. Now, that being said, you're going to want to make sure that you have a good enough computer because this one... Uh, for a while, I was actually using uh, OBS, and I plan to actually go back to OBS, or at least try uh, XSplit Broadcaster for a little bit, but as far as the Gamecaster, that is what this review is mostly for, um, because I've only used Gamecaster. I used Broadcaster briefly when it would allow me to, but Windows 10 wouldn't allow you to because it detected that uh, it was Windows 10, and uh, apparently it's not... Or it's not later than Windows 7, apparently. Who knew? Um, so, uh, I've been kind of rambling. So, let's go ahead and start off with one of the biggest bugs that I think is in the system. So, and I'm going to be completely honest. It kind of irks me off about this. The system warning down here at the bottom. And uh, I'll just go ahead and keep hovering around it. If you click it. It tells you that this version of Xbox Gamecaster is incompatible with Origin's overlay. So if you use Origin overlay for anything, if like you use it for web browsing or anything like that, you're done. You can't use it. It instantly crashes your game. I tried this, it crashed the game, it crashed XSplit, and I couldn't even recover the video from that. So, sadly, can't get around that. And I think this is also with Broadcaster, but don't quote me on that. The tutorials and FAQs is kind of, again, it's your basic stuff. Because they expect you to open this up and be able to start right off, because you know what you're doing. I tried FF, sorry, FF Split, uh, which is the free, kind of like free version of XSplit, but it's open source. Um, and that one is actually really nice in comparison to XSplit as far as its interface because it offers all the same features, but it was a little confusing for me to use because, again, I'm still kind of a noob to this and I don't like change. So, let's go ahead and move over here to the live stream or record consoles gameplay. Now, I obviously can't click the console viewer, but if I had my Aver Media plugged in, I'd be able to... So, yeah. Okay, going on to accounts. Now, this is one of the biggest things that irritates the crap out of me. In Broadcaster, you can choose multiple live streaming networks. 
which you can broadcast at the exact same time. With Gamecaster, you can only do one at a time. If you don't, if you want more than one at a time, I guess you're kind of SOL, um, or soiled out of luck, if you want that. Uh, but there is a boatload of options uh, that you can choose from, including a custom. Um, there are more options, again, on Broadcaster, so I'm quite surprised to see that there's only these options here on the Gamecaster. I assume that they're mostly used for, um, this program is mostly used for uh, high-end Twitch or Hitbox streamers that are, like, PewDiePie's level. Or Captain Sparkle's level. I already have my Twitter authenticated, but you can authenticate your Facebook, your Twitter, and your Google+. You can also enable video sharing so you can uh, upload it to YouTube. And again, this is another thing that's depressing. Because on Broadcaster, when I was using it, you could upload to YouTube, you could upload to uh, Vimeo, or you could upload to Daily Video. So again... They're slimming it down for the people who usually just do broadcast on games such as, um, like, high-end, uh, high-yield MCN game gamers and all that. So, as for your settings, very, very basic, and I'm actually gonna... Hey, there we go. Actually, I have my webcam here. Okay, so... In this, you can change pretty much everything about the system as much as you can. There's not a lot that you can change, though. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, just show you what you can change. And right here, you have your stream settings for your when you're actually in the game and you're actually streaming. The only part, and the only bad part about this is if you try and stream in HD or trying to record in HD. And I'm actually going to uh, cut the video here. Uh, well, actually, after I explain, but I'm going to cut the video really short, and I'm going to show you uh, a little bit of gameplay while I was doing this, and it has my webcam and everything, um, but I'm going to show you what actually uh, went down and how bad this is, because I got so much lag, and what was horrible was the lag was okay and tolerable in-game, but when I rendered the video... It was absolutely disgusting. Um, I haven't even had this much of a problem through just generally recording it. I had originally thought about um, using my Avery Media Capture Card to uh, export from my computer to it um, and then to my TV. So kind of have that as a buffer zone so that I can record it. Um, the only downside of that is Windows doesn't like that being a main monitor so I'm gonna have to try and figure out that but that's a separate story so right here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enter that video so cut the video my name is Tasha Pore. I'm wounded I'm dead. All right. give this to my bondmate Wishra ask her to go to the city tell Wishra to love her tell her <laughs> Okay, okay. It's too quiet. Are there any survivors? This fight didn't last long by the look of it. It wouldn't. The monastery only had a few guards to protect it, not an army. Okay, frame rate drop out of everything is the thing that I'm noticing while I'm playing ME3. I can't change my settings in any three. So 
I'm hoping that's part of the frame rate drop is that I can't see so many. I can't even shoot. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and keep playing until. Or at least try to keep playing until. This because this is really horrific. I mean, when you're firing, I'm not sure if you guys can see that the way. Uh, it goes, it flutters between uh, uh, it goes between like. Four twelve. That used to be a person. An Asari. What have the Reapers done? Apparently something bad. So alright, so I'm gonna cut the video here for this portion. Uh, this is kind of just the proof of X split. So because you see as soon as the fighting stops, my frame rate increases back to a steady eleven and twelve. So I'll go ahead and cancel. I'll go ahead and stop this, and uh, then we'll be able to go ahead and do that. Okay. Um. Bear with me while I try and figure this out. Um. And also, I'm noticing that my camera, it's got like a one or two second delay between it and that's not my camera because my camera is brand new um, and it's not an IP camera so I'm going to go ahead and stop now and hopefully this audio is not too bad um, yeah let's go ahead and we'll stop here and continue back with the review And now we're back. So, after that, you also have your mar your bed. Th 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 <laughs> okay, I can talk. Uh, but you have your microphone and your camera settings. Uh, it's pretty plain here for what it is. I mean, it's very simple. You can go in and change which camera you use, uh, so on and so forth. You can change the camera. That's really all that you can do. Um, you can also enable chroma key, which... I don't have a green screen behind me, so I can't really enable anything with chroma key. Um, okay, BRB, or uh, the Be Right Back mode. Oh, just got a lot of lag there. Okay, so the Be Right Back mode has all of your um, all of your social medias that you have connected uh, that you can post to at the bottom of your BRB uh, screenshot, as you can see here. Let me go ahead and I can go into the settings so that I can show you kind of what is going on here. So you can add an image and kind of overlay all that, but if you delete this, um, it clears it. So if I go that, it clears the bottom, so it gives you the illusion that you've actually deleted everything, including your social media links, which that is not true as far as I can tell. Because as you can see, it just went black, and then that is still at the bottom. So it's kind of here nor there if you activate that. But if you activate it, I highly recommend uh, customizing it. Um, or at least um, getting rid of the advertisement for XSplit. I don't know why you would want the advertisement for XSplit unless you really loved XSplit. Um, but that's the only thing I can really think of. Uh, your status label down here, um, it basically comes up in the corner. And you will probably see it in the video that I, you actually probably saw it in the video that I showed earlier. It's up in the little corner um, in the, according to you guys, it'd be the left-hand corner. 
Yep, left hand corner. Or that way. Anyway, it'd be the left hand corner. And what happened is you can see the frame rate and you can see um, that I'm recording. You can also see that uh, it's um, really laggy. So you can see the CPU usage, you can see everything like that. So my CPU was actually clogged out, as you saw in the video um, prior to this um, little portion. You saw in that video that my CPU was maxed out at 100% while running only Windows, the uh, Exploit Broadcaster, the uh, Gamecaster engine, and also the uh, the game and Origin in the background. Because you can't cancel Origin. I also had uh, Team Viewer turned on. So I had Team Viewer down here turned on. Um, the rest of this is kind of neither here nor there. Again. Uh, so, let's say goodbye to my little face because apparently it just disappeared again. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're going to say goodbye to my little face down here. And then we're going over to Hotkeys. Which, hotkeys are amazing because if you don't know what hockey is, it records and uh, lets you pretty much do a little shortcut on your keyboard and bam, it has it up on the screen. The only thing about this is, if you don't program each one, you have to go into the overlay, which the overlay seriously bogs down your system. I don't know if it's a bug that they have to fix or whatnot, but it is horrible. Um, on top of that, there's also the recordings, and there's actually the recording that I uh, shared with you a little bit ago. Um, and then you can open for or express edit it, and you can edit name and share it to all these different social media, and this is where it's saved. So... And then under here, there's nothing really that is worth getting XSplit for. My phone just caught up with Twitter. Um, so there's nothing that you really are missing if you go with something like um, OBS or Open Broadcast Software. Now, granted, for what it does, XSplit is amazing, if you have a powerful computer enough to do it. Now, if you don't, stop right here, go download OBS. I'm going to leave a link in the description, because it's technically open firmware, so bleh. Um, I'm also going to leave a link in the case that you want to try out XSplit for yourself, down in the description. I don't get... Uh, anything for it I just figured you might as well try it if you want to um, so again you here nor there um, but with all that said what I recommend XSplit broadcaster let me go ahead and bring back settings so you can see my face what I recommend XSplit broadcaster sorry gamecaster no I would not recommend XSplit Gamecaster to the general gaming, com sorry, to the general broadcasting community. That would be more of a broadcaster type thing. Uh, Gamecaster is more based for those people who can pay that fee every every um, month uh, for all the extra features and all the updates and everything. Uh, but it's also for those people who are willing to get a green screen. For those who, people who are willing to change their whole. Um, setting that they uh, live and work in um, just so that they can make a video so I guess that really depends on your situation if you plan to become a youtuber I'd recommend starting with OBS or open broadcast software again link in the description but if you aren't planning on becoming a youtuber and you just kind of want to do it for fun Twitch here now and then. Go ahead. Just make sure your computer is powerful enough to handle it. Because mine wasn't. And it was not worthy. <laughs> um, I tried running Crisis on this thing. It did work for a little bit. And so. It's worthy on that part. But if it bows down to something like Broadcaster. Sorry, Gamecaster. 
If it bows down to that, where are we at? Like, with all of this. Because it's... It's gonna end up being not worth it if you pay every month, but your computer's not good enough. So if you have a great enough computer, go ahead. If you have enough to upgrade your system later on, go ahead. Um, but otherwise, I'd recommend staying with an open source uh, broadcasting system like OBS or FSFlit. Um, but I have drawn this video out way too long, and I'm sure uh, everyone is going to... Uh, apparently, I have another Twitter follower. Hey, there we go. Uh, before I go, I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to ask you to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I want to actually do a challenge to you. If you thumb it up, tell me why. Tell me what you thought was worthy of getting your thumbs up down in the description. Sorry, down in the comments. Um, if you thumbed it down, tell me why you did so again down in the comments. If you subscribe to me, send me a message telling me which video got your attention. I'm going to try and make this clear in my next vlog, but I'd like you guys to do that simply because I want to know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. Um, because if I'm doing a lot of crap wrong and everyone sees it, I want to make sure to fix it. But if like only one or two people see it, I may be willing to adjust to it, um, but I won't completely fix it. Just heads up. Um, very stubborn like that. So, again, without further ado, I'm going to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.